Y'all black women, yes, y'all black women can keep trying to use that shit against me as a motherfucking scapegoat all you want. Well, Sergeant Willie P, now we know that you ain't attracted to the majority of black women. As though the majority of black women are fine. I don't, under I don't, I don't understand it. First off, am I picky? Fuck yes, I'm picky. I like attractive women. Okay? The attractive women within any group are only going to be what? 10, 20, maybe 30% of the population. What do you want to, like, what, what do you want to say? Nine out of ten white women are attractive. Nine out of ten black women are attractive. Nine out of ten Asian women are attractive. Get the fuck on. Okay? Fat bitches, you're out. Women who smoke, you're out. Women who, 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 who freaking fried, dyed, and laid to the side of their hair and they don't even have any damn temples, you're out. Women with kids, you're out. Okay? So right off the top, I'm already starting with not the majority of black women. Shit, I don't like weaves, because I think it's imitation white women's hair. Okay, so just with weaves, right? Bam, all black women with weaves are out. What percentage of black women am I left with? I'm left with about 30% of black women. Okay, 80% of black women, 70 to 80% of black women are overweight. So if I just cut that 30% in half, let me just say, of those women who don't have weaves, who are, you know, more or less natural, but aren't overweight, now I'm down to 15%, right? 68.7% of black kids are born out of wedlock. So, from the women who don't have kids, so I'm at 15%, so what is that? I'm like, now I'm down to 7.5%, okay? Then, the ones that don't have a funky attitude, let's cut that in half again, okay? So, what is that? Now I'm down to 3.2%. 5%, okay, right, is that right, I, let me do my math, yeah, 3.25%, right, so, no, no, that's 3.75%, I believe, right, should it be, I don't know, my motherfucking math is fucked up, right, but, then, what's the next one, what's the next thing, what's the next thing, then, just a woman that I find attractive, period, just being attractive, that's even less of that, so, already off top, I am not starting off, with the majority of black women. So when you jump up and you're like, oh, you just don't find the majority of black women attractive, I'm not even starting with the majority of black women. I'm not starting with 100%. I mean, shit, fat women are out. I'm all, I, I, that's 80% of black women. 70, 80%. So I'm already starting with like, with like 30%, 25%. So I only got that small pool to pick from. And even within that small pool, if I just went on looks, alone, the most attractive people within that group are a small percentage of that group. So when you jump up and you're like, ah, you don't find the majority of black women attractive, as though in order for me to speak on the shit, in order for my points to be valid, that I have to find 90% of black women attractive, you are out of your fucking mind. Okay? I don't find the majority of white women attractive. I don't find the majority of Asian women attractive or Hispanic women attractive. But I'm going to tell y'all sisters, they got you beat off of the jump just on the simple fact that 80 or 70% of their women aren't overweight, which leads into attractiveness. You can't be overweight and talking about, oh, they don't find me attractive. You can't take yourself out of the running and you got a kid, and then you talk about, oh, they don't find me attractive. You could, the chick that I'm trying, I was trying to holler at, baddest chick on the planet, but she got a kid, so it don't matter how much I appreciate her beauty, I'm still not gonna fuck with her. She's useless to me. So she's out the running. It's no, it serves no purpose for me to even sit there and be like, oh yeah, she's fine. It don't mean nothing. I can't do nothing with her. But y'all women talking that dumb shit that, that oh, Sergeant Willie Pete wholesale doesn't find black women attractive. And then we go into the whole conditioning thing. And, oh, he wants black women to look like this or look like that when nine times out of ten those are the same black women that uh, black women want to put up on a pedestal and claim are the most attractive. What is black beauty? Define that shit for me. Define it for me. I'm so sick and tired of if I, if I don't like a chick with a plate in her lip and a bone in her nose that black women jump up and they're like, oh, you don't like whack, whack because you're self-hating. Or you don't like this chick over here. And, oh, oh, this chick that you like, oh, she's not the blackest woman ever. Like everything, like everything 
that, 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 that isn't, you know, Pete, it's so funny because if I start talking about, you know, nappy hair or whatever, black women will jump up and be like, oh, not every black woman has nappy hair. Oh, not every black woman has a, a, has a five inch wide bridge bell pepper nose. Not every black woman is super dark. We come in multiple shades and colors and this, that, and the third and blah, 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 blah. Then on the other half, I get the other side of women who jump up and then they're talking about how the majority of black women are this or the majority of black women are that. Those two statements are contradicting each other. Either you are a diverse group of women that men can like whatever the fuck they want to like or you're this monolithic, homogeneous group. What the fuck is it? This shit is so fucking annoying. All I keep hearing is a whole bunch of women who, who, are, who are unattractive trying to get brothers to find whatever it is about them attractive. And if the men don't find them attractive, oh, you're self-hating. Oh, you don't like the majority of the way black women look because I look like the majority of black women. The majority of white women do not meet the criteria of what white people consider beautiful. But in the face of fighting white supremacy, black women think that because of white supremacy, the majority of black women are not found attractive solely due to white supremacy. As opposed to even if the white man never fucking came to Africa, we would still have some type of standard of beauty, whatever type of standard of beauty, where the majority of black women would not fall within that. I don't care what society you go to. I don't care what culture you go to. Yeah, I know that the white influence is in there somewhere and it's fucking shit up. But generally speaking, even before the introduction of Europeans to any country or continent around the world, a population had a certain standard of beauty and the majority of the population of women within that did not fall within that okay people were looking for features that weren't all that common they were relatively rare the reality is is that a lot of women are trying to take the 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 standard and spread it out make it bigger so that it includes them when that is not the reality okay Fuck conditioning. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. A little boy, it, 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 there's, a, there's an internal, basic, primitive thing in a male mind that says whether a woman is attractive in .5 seconds. Okay? And women are trying to take this, take this little thing and trying to change it and say, oh, it's conditioning or oh, it's that. And it's like, yeah, there's a side of that that is true, but then you're still left with the core rudimentary aspect of, of what that boy is going to find attractive, okay? They've done tests with babies. They've taken a picture of an unattractive person and they put it in front of the baby and the, what happens? The baby's pupils constrict. They shrink because when you look at something that you find unattractive, your pupils shrink. Okay, when you look at something that you find, uh, or excuse me, find unattractive, your pupils shrink. When you look at something that you find attractive, your pupils dilate. And they're doing this on babies who don't even have the neural, the neuronal connections in their brains yet. Their, their brain isn't even fully developed, and it, that's how rudimentary it is. That, that is some, that is some, 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 some brain stem type of shit. That is not, that has nothing to do with any type of conditioning or higher thinking mode in the cerebral cortex. No, it does not. It has to do with your brain stem. Y'all are trying to do, y'all trying to take beauty and, and, and do like the fat black girls do and trying to turn fat into thick. Oh no, I ain't fat, I'm thick. Oh no, I ain't fat. Oh, we gonna pick this fence. Oh, I gained five pounds. Oh, we gonna pick this fence up and move it. Okay, now now five, fat is over there. Oh, I gained another 10 pounds. Oh, we gonna pick that fence up again. We gonna move it over here so that I'm still thick. I'm still thick. I'm still juicy. Hey, hey. That's what y'all trying to do. And y'all just run to, woe is me is conditioning as the ultimate scapegoat. See, I can't even have this conversation with y'all no more. Because so, so many of y'all just want to go, ah, 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 and it's like, no, there's no aha. There's no aha. The majority of black women 
wouldn't be found attractive because the majority of any group of women are not found attractive. There's only a small, I mean, beauty is one of those things that it's like a miracle. Okay, it's a miracle. If everybody was walking around beautiful, I mean, it would be like Last Action Hero, where, where, where all, everybody in the movie was like beautiful and looking like a supermodel. That movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger and the little kid with the, with the golden ticket. The truth is nobody can tell y'all nothing because y'all want to believe what you want to believe. 